Hello everyone. We're going to have another um, another look at Aaron and Orson and they're still missing so I'm going to keep looking but what I've done is I've made a bunch of charts. So for those that are interested in understanding the charts and how it all works, keep on watching now. But at the end I've actually got a bit of mapping as well and some interesting info. Um, I've been watching AV Watchmen and the areas that they've been looking and some places are very close to where I would look. So I'm going to put that towards the end of the video. But if you're interest, interested in the astrology and the timing, have a look at this because it is very interesting. Now, this chart here is the 911 call. This one here is the first video on that day caught by the neighbour um, in the afternoon at 4.13. So that's video footage. Then I have a whole new chart which I have put together based on a few things that I'll discuss but what I think is possibly the time when something actually occurred. And then we have another chart here for a couple of days prior for the 19th when they left to go shopping in Bakersfield and see what that shows us. Now I know I've talked about this in the other two videos but I'm going to narrow it down and get to the point. So let's go. Always start with the 911 chart. And the thing that I really want you to note, which I've pointed out before, but all of these really early degrees, zero, the Sun, Saturn, Jupiter, the Moon is at one degree. They're very, very early and what that means is new beginnings. So you don't want to see that in a chart like this because it's implying that there's new beginnings or somebody that wants new beginnings. Now, in the 911 chart, the children are this area here, Cancer, ruled by the moon, which I've already discussed, which is making this square to this area here. Now, the area of the perpetrator is Capricorn, and the ruler of Capricorn is Saturn. Saturn is one of the planets at zero degrees. Saturn is a male stepfather, father, older male figure in one's life. It's in the house of the perpetrator and it wants to start a new life. That's not good because it's got a little partner, Jupiter, right there. So it wants to start a new life big time. But anyway, what we're going to do with this chart in particular is look at the context of what it is. It's a phone call. So a phone call is represented by the third house cusp. That is 29 degrees of Leo is the third house cusp. So it's a critical point and ruled by the sun over here. So that shows that it was probably made by a male, the phone call. And the phone call was made because it's right there next to Mercury, which is also the ruler of the third house and phone calls. So this shows us, yes, there was a phone call made. But when we look at the eighth house, which is this one here, which is the house of death, it's ruled by Aquarius. Aquarius is ruled by... Saturn. This, when I, whenever I see this, this shows me that if the eighth house ruler is the ruler of the perpetrator in a phone call chart, then that person most likely knows what happens, what what has happened. The fact that that links up to the sun in an aspect. The sun links up to Saturn and Jupiter in an exact aspect, all at zero degrees. Shows me that there's a link between 
the person that called 911 and knowing exactly what happened. Let's move along. That evening, 4.13 p.m., when the neighbour caught footage of him outside. So at this point in time, let me grab my pen. The children are in question and they are Gemini, two, two children. The, the ruler of Gemini is Mercury and it's sitting in the seventh house of the perpetrator. Now, this actually gives me an indication that the children were, in fact, in the house at 4.13. Now, I don't know whether that could be possible and whether they were in the house and then later moved. Uh, I don't know, but it seems to be that at 4.13 they were still in the house or in a car. That's also Mercury. Now, the moon is at zero degrees now, so now, now we've got an emotional new start too. Everything's at zero. It's really concerning, actually. It's like this: fa um, the family is family wants a new start, and maybe the children aren't a part of that decision. Saturn, which was the perpetrator at this point in time, is in the eighth house of death along with Pluto, which does not bode well. So at 4.13, something's going on. Um, there's deaths on the perpetrator's mind, that's for sure. I'm going to skip ahead. Okay, this one is a chart that I've set up for 2.26 on the same day. Now... I wanted to get it to the moon being at 29 degrees because a lot of the time that indicates what's going on. So while all these other planets are at zero, back at 2.30, the moon is at 29 degrees of Pisces. Whenever the moon's at 29 degrees, it's not good. It means that something is happening, something's happened. Um, in the process of happening or something's occurring and it's not good. Therefore, when zero comes about, it's a new beginning because you're forced to. The ascendant in this chart is 26 degrees of Taurus and that's Algol. And I'm going to show you a little bit about Algol. Oops, it over. So our goal is of the nature of Saturn and Jupiter. It's very misfortunate. It's violent. It's a violent death is indicated at this point. And in the sky, this is what it is. It's actually the very top of Medusa's head. So it's Medusa-like. Now... So it's, it's located there and it's, it's an evil star. It's not a good one. Um, as I've said, it's associated with pain, suffering, violence, emotionally intense experiences and losing one's head. And I don't just mean like having your head taken off. So I'm sorry, I don't, I'm not saying that that happened. What I'm saying is that I think that whatever happened happened at this point in time and someone lost their mind, lost their head. Um, one of the parents. So we'll get back to this. So the ruler of the ascendant being Taurus is Venus. And if we look at this, Venus is sitting in the house of the perpetrator. Venus is a female. I've lowered the orb, so we only have a few lines now, but one of the main ones is this line here to Uranus in the 12th house. The 12th house is everything that's hidden and secretive, and Uranus is something that's shocking and unexpected. I believe that at around 2.30, something shocking and unexpected happened. 
and that the female actually had something to do with it. And so maybe that there is a cover-up from the male to the female, in my opinion only. So the 230 chart is interesting. We have this tight square between the sun and Mercury in the 8th house of death to the moon at 29 degrees of Pisces. We have this tight square between Mars and Pluto, which is very aggressive and angry. And then all the things mentioned before. So this chart just does not look good at all. Um, but we know that. So let's move forward. Nineteenth, a couple of days before, from the footage on the video from AV Watchmen, eleven thirty-three a.m., when the family apparently went shopping to Bakersfield. Now, the time frame that they went shopping, they left at eleven thirty-three and came back home at. Oh, what was it? 3.45 I think it was. It was a pretty quick trip and there's a discussion on how many children were in the car and all sorts of things. I wanted to do a chart to see firstly were they going shopping. When I, and I showed I did show this on the previous charts I'm sure but when Neptune is on the ascendant with Pisces in a chart like this when we're asking a question, it's an instant no. It's an instant deception. <laughs> no, he, they were not going shopping. So something else has occurred that day where they won't go. If they went shopping, <clears throat> excuse me, if they went shopping, they're lying about what they went shopping for. Um... Maybe they went shopping for somebody to look for the look, look after the children. Let's hope that that's the case. But I still believe that at two thirty on the twenty first, something else happened that ha that triggered them to have to call the police. So whether it was another child talking or you know something, something's happened at that point. But it it I'd like a closer timeline, a better timeline between the nineteenth and the twenty first for sure, because the children weren't even seen after this point. I don't believe they went shopping. Um, the ruse of going shopping makes sense. That's the second house in Taurus, um, but again, that's Taurus is ruled by Venus. Venus is the woman. And that's tightly squaring um, the moon now, which is in the 12th house of secrets. So we've got a whole connection here between, let's say we're going shopping because we've got something else to do. Note that the sun and Mercury are both at 28 degrees on this day. So the children are there. I'm not sure how many children are in going in shopping, but there's definitely children there and they're witness to what's going on. They were, they were there. Now, whether they were taken to grandma's, I can't see it. Um, but I think that those children saw something and that they would, they'll talk if asked the right questions. So again, that's going back a couple of days in the morning when they said they were going shopping. I don't believe they went shopping for the reason that they said they were Christmas shopping. No, doesn't make sense. Thing is, on it, all of the maps, these are in the same position, but I'll pick the 911 call link, chart to do this with. This area here is... Capricorn and Aquarius, 23 Capricorn, which turns to 293 and then 300 for zero degrees of Aquarius on the map. Now, 
the DC line is 14 and that is 284. So I know you're not going to remember all those, but this is the area that we're going to look at. And I just want to show you something. So here's the map. There's the house where the boys lived. Now this direction here is that Capricorn area that I was just talking about. Now I'm just going to go to zoom out. AV Watchmen, they went and looked at this lake, Lake Ming. And it was interesting to me because the line, it's not going to tell us right now, this line here, zoom all the way out, is right in the middle of the seventh house, in the middle of that area that we were looking at but if we were to go and utilize actually I need to go back 100 there okay if we were to utilize the lines on the chart if they were to just look up here a little bit further well, there's a few points there's a point that's crossing that is interesting but on this Kern River. Now I don't know which way the water flows. I'm no expert there, but okay, so that's that could be looked at. But the Kern River goes around Lake Ming and they got Lake Ming from somewhere. I don't know where. Now this Kern River goes all the way to here across the California State Route 178 and the line goes to this area here where the Kern River Canyon starts. Okay, so this area I would highly recommend getting a drone and looking all around here. The next The next line, if the river flows this way, would make sense, as I, I would imagine, is all this way here, 17, I don't know, 178, Route 178, but around this area here. So amazingly, they did look on one of the lines astrologically but there's a couple more lines and they go off of the river that's going from that area that they were looking at. I'm going to put a link to this map so you can zoom in and do whatever but where the lines are and where they end I would be getting a drone if you can and searching these areas. That's just my tip. Um, I hope it helps. In fact, the lines all the way along are usually helpful, but uh, my feeling is that perhaps up here would be the first place that I would look. Um, there is one more area that I would also love to see a drone go out to, and that's the moon line, which is often where children are found, and that is straight up across the road from where they lived near this place here off the Honda Proving Center of California off of Neutrula Road um, maybe if you can get to one of these roads here and just fly it around there I'm, I mean I don't know the logistics on Australian you know I don't know these places we have different different landscapes so I don't know if you'd even be able to get to these areas but I'd be remiss, it would be remiss if I didn't say anything about that so yeah uh, mainly I wanted to talk about these river areas here so there's an extra line there I'm going to take it away uh, and talk about that next time so there we go some much better ideas on where I would search, especially with a drone.
love to everybody. I hope the boys are found well and that this is all just nothing. But if it is something, I hope it helps. See ya.